let us take two more uh, elements that is zinc and copper zinc is absorbed in the form of zinc ions and in the category of functions we have written down the important functions which are performed by zinc or where zinc is essential it is required for activation of enzymes and some of these enzymes are carbonic anhydrase phosphorylase and carboxylase carbonic anhydrase is the same enzyme which helps in reaction of water with carbon dioxide to form carbonic acid and then dissociation of carbonic acid to form bicarbonate ions and this is that ion which is taken or accepted by rubisco or rather rubp in presence of rubisco during photosynthesis so that carbon dioxide to be changed into bicarbonate ion so that it can be accepted by rubp during photosynthesis is the job of carbonic anhydrase phosphorylase we know it helps in addition of phosphate group to form uh, atp like compounds and carboxylase is addition of carbon dioxide then it also is required for synthesis of tryptophan tryptophan is an important amino acid so it is going to help in protein synthesis and wherever these proteins are required it is also helpful in auxin production so it acts as a precursor not exactly a complete precursor but one of the precursors for auxin production which is a phytohormone and it also helps in the process of fermentation in the process of fermentation it acts as activator of enzymes which are helping in this process of uh, fermentation so here we have written that it is an activator of enzymes and this is because we want to specifically uh, mention about fermentation this point is separate but here also it is activator of enzyme and in the first point also the deficiency symptoms due to zinc one disease which is very significant is known as little leaf disease and as the name tells us the leaf size is reduced now how would a leaf size reduction affect the plant we know that leaves are the main uh, structures where photosynthesis is going to take place bigger the leaf more photosynthesis that means more carbohydrate is synthesized and that carbohydrate would be stored in the storage organ plus whatever carbohydrate is required that is also essential for the growth of the plant so if the leaf size is reduced it is going to affect everything the plant growth will also get affected and that is why stunted growth would be seen plus when we say growth is affected the internodes are also going to be shorter that would result into height reduction so these plants would be short plants because the interbrood has become shorter and it is all because of this leaf size becoming smaller and as the leaf size is smaller sufficient uh, nutritive material is not is, uh, available that results into death of the tissue death of the tissue and technically we call it necrosis so zinc is essential for activation of many enzymes and the disease which is caused due to its deficiency is little leaf disease the next element that we are talking in this list is copper it is absorbed in the form of cupric ions the places where it is essential is one it is associated with again enzymes and as we can see many elements either they are constituents of certain biomolecules or they are activators of most of the enzymes and that is how we have classified them in the beginning as macro elements and micro macro normally make up the uh, structure or they are the constituents and the ones which are required in very very less quantity they are normally the activators of the enzymes the enzymes where copper acts as an activator one is lactase oxidase these are the main uh, important one 
it is also involved in redox reaction and that is by conversion of cuprous to cupric and back to cuprous. So if this reversible conversion takes place, it is by taking up electron and donating electron. So we call it redox reaction. It also helps in transfer of electrons by this reaction. Another important function is it is required for synthesis of vitamin C that is ascorbic acid. So vitamin C synthesis is also uh, helped by copper. If copper is sufficient then vitamin C synthesis would take place and this is important in citrus plants where ascorbic acid is the main acid. Then coming to the deficiencies caused due to the absence of copper or less concentration of copper. One is known as exanthema. Exanthema is actually secretion of gum and deposition of this gum on bark. Deposition of gum that is a sticky material on the bark. Now we know bark is the tissue which is outside the vascular cambium. It is not a tissue, it is the term given to all the tissues which are outside that vascular cambium. But most of the part that especially we are talking of cork, it is dead. And we also know that in bark, the cells, uh, they open up during secondary growth to form lenticels. And due, through these lenticels, exchange of gases takes place. So if we are talking about the stem structure, this entire tissue outside tissue would be called bar and this opening would be the lenti cell and through this uh, exchange of gases would take place. But if there is deposition of gum all over it, that means exchange or the structure through which exchange was taking place that also has been covered with that sticky substance and there would be no gaseous exchange and if no gaseous exchange it would result into necrosis of that area or ultimately the plant death. Chlorosis, loss of pigment and necrosis that is again death of the tissue. One more deficiency symptom is there is decreased carbon dioxide absorption. We just now said lenticels help in gaseous exchange and if there is gum deposition on it, carbon dioxide or for that matter even oxygen, both gases which are essential either for respiration or for photosynthesis, their absorption would be less and ultimately it would result into death of the plants. So these are zinc and copper. Now we will take few more elements. The next elements are boron and molybdenum. Boron is required for many many important uh, functions. It is required for uptake of calcium ions and even utilization. So uptake and utilization of calcium ions. It is also essential for the membrane functioning. And if membrane is going to properly function, then only ionic exchange or transport of substances across the membrane can take place. It is also required for pollen grains to germinate on the stigma. It plays an important role in cell elongation, cell differentiation and even in cell division. So we can add here cell division elongation and differentiation. So in all processes it is very important element. It also helps in translocation of carbohydrate. This carbohydrate which is synthesized in the leaves as a result of photosynthesis has to be translocated to the organs or areas where it gets stored. It could be the root, fruit or any other part. So from the leaf to the storage organ. For that translocation also boron is essential. It is also required for PPP that is pentose phosphate pathway. 
so for this pathway also boron plays an important role it is also required for fruit formation that is fruiting one more function which we can add here it also helps in regeneration of tissues so it is also required for regeneration deficiency symptoms the disease is known as heart rot of beetroot heart rot term is given because the tissue which dies or becomes very very uh, rock solid you can say is in the center of the beetroot and we eat the beetroot part of this plant so if the central part becomes woody then that root which we consume will become unfit for consumption so that would destroy the economic value of that plant it is also known as the same disease is also known as brown heart disease and heart word is normally given when we are talking about some central part of a uh, structure the leaves may show curling and this is seen in various types of plants instead of a normal flat surface the leaves may get curled and in a curled leaf the exposed surface area would be less for photosynthesis and its deficiency can also cause premature leaf and fruit fall also coming to the next element that is molybdenum it is absorbed as molybdate iron and the role or the functions performed by uh, molybdenum or the places where molybdenum is essential it is component of nitrogenase and nitrate reductase which are essential for nitrogen fixation so in nitrogen fixation reactions these two enzymes which are are uh, playing an important role it is molybdenum is a component of those it is also required for nodule formation where rhizobium type of symbiotic bacteria can accumulate and help in nitrogen fixation so it is a part of the enzymes it also helps in nodule formation that is division of cortical cells it also helps in accumulation of amino acids and if amino acids get accumulated they would help in protein synthesis it is also required for ascorbic acid metabolism that is vitamin c and it acts as a protective thing for chloroplast so it maintains the chloroplast structure its deficiency causes few diseases and all these diseases have been given different names for example the first one yellow spots of citrus fruits citrus fruits would develop yellow colored spots all over their skin and because of which their skin is going to appear patchy so this is seen only in citrus fruits dieback of shoot has been reported in many plants in which the shoot part only gets affected the next disease is again are related only to one type of plant that is cabbage and in this the disease is known as whip tail disease in which the leaves of the cabbage they become long cabbage is used uh, the bud part of the cabbage is used we can say as vegetable and here the leaves are broad and flat if these leaves they become whip like whip is uh, the term used for hunter so instead of a broad leaf that is the leaf of cabbage which is normally like this if it becomes little longish like this then the entire economic value of that vegetable would be lost and as it plays the most important role in nitrogen metabolism nitrogen absorption would get affected and if nitrogen is less amino acid synthesis would get affected protein synthesis would get affected and all those places where proteins are required like enzymes plasma membrane structure all those things would get affected by this so molybdenum mainly involved in nitrogen related thing there are there are other functions also and in the deficiency diseases two diseases are important because they are 
related to a particular type of plant like yellow spot of citrus fruits and whip tail of cabbage otherwise a uh, dieback of shoot is common to most of the plants and nitrogen absorption decreases because their role, molybdenum's role is predominantly in nitrogen metabolism related enzymes.